Hello, book dragons. It's Sarah again with another middle grade book talk. This one is The Parker Inheritance by Varian Johnson. My children and I actually listened to this book, so I don't have the cover. But if you like mystery books, you will like this. It's not a mystery that you can actually even figure out. Like Varian Johnson has to sort of lead you along and give you all of this backstory. It's kind of convoluted, and if you're not paying attention, you're kind of like, wait a minute, what's happening? Who is speaking? Because it's told from different perspectives as the story goes. So the story is about Candace. She's 12 years old, her parents have split up, and she is now living in grandma's house with her mother for the summer in Lambert, South Carolina. And she meets Brandon. And Brandon, like her, is bookish and quiet and reserved. Um, and so they become friends. But while Candace is kind of going through grandma's stuff in the, in the attic, you know, her, the box no one's supposed to go into, she finds a letter to her from her grandmother. And her grandmother was a city manager. And there's this guy, James Parker, and he has left Lambert, South Carolina, a ton of money but you have to solve the clues to get it. And her grandma, as the city manager, tore apart the entire tennis um, tennis field for uh, tennis court. <laughs> tennis field. I miss baseball. So it tore apart the entire tennis court because um, there was a whole history about these black children at the school were really great tennis players. And so... That's where she assumed it was. So she tears it apart. She can't find the money. She lost her job. She's disgraced. She has to move. So anyway, we fast forward to Candace. So Candace finds this letter with this, this clue about how to find this money. So she sort of teams up with Brandon and they decide they're, they got the summer. Why not? And the adult in me is like, ah, there's no way these kids could figure these clues out, right? Like the math and the puzzling, but you just go with it because you suspend your beliefs when you read. But as a child, like as a middle grade reader, I'd be like, this is amazing. Kids are awesome. They could do anything, you know, and they could do what adults couldn't do. I, it, it's just, it's great. It's so fun. So the, what, yeah, what else is great about this story is that you get a lot of the history in the South during the fifties and the sixties. It's a seg Lambert was a segregated area. Black people were not treated well. Um, you know, their schools were not great. Uh, they had a fantastic, there's this character, Big Dub, that's what they call him, and he is a tennis coach, and he is so confident in his players that he tells this white coach and all the white players, like, you know, let's go, and the black players win, except it was never recorded, and so they never got the props that they were due, which is why Grandma thought that you know, it was, that's all in there. Anyway, so if you like mysteries, if you can suspend your belief that these 12-year-old kids can unlock and find out this, where the money is, what direction, how to, you know, string it all together, you will love the Parker Inheritance. It's so fun. My kids were really, like, really into this. Like, I think it's this person. I think it's that person. I think it's buried here. So it's great. It's a, it's a wonderful story to be involved with your kids in. It makes them think. And they're not playing Roblox or whatever. They're, oh, my God. <laughs> All right. You guys have a wonderful day. I've got another book talk coming. Woo! Ready for the next one? Talk to you later. Bye.